Good morning, friends. Today we are building up the home apothecary for the cool weather season that is upon us. We're going to be making some DIY home remedies. On the agenda is fire tonic. I'm also going to be making some elderberry syrup and some fermented garlic honey. And I wanted to let you know that I will have the full recipes written out for you on our blog at ourlittlehouseonthemountain.com. So if it helps you to be able to go there and read it, everything will be over there for you. And all the links, as always, are in the description box and pinned in the comments below. Many of these remedies and tonics take weeks to brew, so we want to get started now so that by the time we want to start using them, they will be ready for us. I use these things preventatively and I use them acutely. God forbid any of us need them when we're actually sick, but at least we'll know that we have them in the pantry ready for us and our families to use. As you saw, I have some hot peppers here. There are just some few remnants left in the garden and I wanted to use those in my fire tonic today. One of the things I like about this is that many of these recipes are adjustable to what you have. So there are a few ingredients that you will definitely need to make these, but the other things are optional. And so you can play around with what you have in your fridge and your pantry, what's available to you that week and in your local area. So I'm gonna use what I have today. I will put all of the optional ingredients and ideas for you of how you can make this over on the blog post so that you can get a broader idea over there. So I think I'm gonna start with the fire tonic today. I have my big wide mouth glass mason jar and I have some other jars. I think I'm going to put the fermented garlic honey in this one. I'm really a big fan of swing top lock jars. So I think I'm gonna use that, that for this and then I will find myself another glass jar for our elderberry syrup. You definitely wanna use glass jars because as this leaching process, this fermenting process happens, you don't want anything inside plastics to be drawn out into your liquid. One of the ingredients you are definitely going to need to make fire tonic is apple cider vinegar raw with the mother. I just have this bulk one here and so we're able to make some more apple cider vinegar with apple season coming up. I just got this on Amazon and I will link this one below. You're fine. You're fine. Come, come. Come, come, my love. It's your kitchen, too. What's mine is yours. What's yours is mine. What's mine is yours. What's yours is mine. His blue sweater is, come here, Obi Dobi, you cold? Is that the, the knitted one? Yeah, you get your sweater, buddy. Daddy will get your sweater. You have a, you have a, you need a mask and the, the eye gear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you cover yourself in prayer? I wouldn't go in there without the Holy Spirit. That's all I know. <laughs> 